Don't eat it. Very poisonous. Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today is a video that I have been waiting to make for like a month. Just because the weather was absolutely terrible, we couldn't be shipping anything alive in it. Fortunately, it is now back to normal in the 50s and 60s here. And they were able to ship. It is in this box right here. I actually ordered it from Josh's Frogs, not sponsored. <laughs> Although, I mean, if you want, hit me up. This is literally something that I have looked for a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. And I'll tell you now that it is a toad. It is a really big toad. Right now it's a baby, but it gets really big. So I'm going to stop talking and put the enclosure together and then we will unbox it. So this is not going to be its permanent enclosure. They get quite large, but right now it's only a baby and I think it's about an inch or two. So I wanted to get an enclosure where it's not going to get lost in it. So now we are going to decorate it inside and I'm just going to mess around because I bought way too much for it. There we go. That that would be a nice little place to hide. I actually have some golden pothos that I'm going to plant inside of it. I just opened these the other day. Let's try to dig its roots out without making a huge mess. And we're making a huge mess. Do I need the whole plant? I don't think I need the whole plant. I'll only take part of it. That's a nice piece. Okay. And this is, all right, I'll use these pieces. I think this will be good. Save the rest for some tarantula enclosures. Mess, mess, mess. <laughs> to add which is this mushroom it's so cute i got these aquarium ornaments and i was just like oh it's perfect so i think this is a pretty good little home for it i think it'll actually really like it so let's get into it <sighs> i hope it's okay little thank you heat pack still warm very insulated what is this Oh, oh, this is it, this is it. Ah, oh, all right, let's set this all aside and we're gonna get a little bit closer. All right. Oh my God, this is way bigger than I thought. Yup, I'm definitely gonna have to upgrade way sooner. Oh my gosh, are you okay? So this toad is literally amazing. It is a smooth sided toad. So I'm just gonna let it out in here so we can get a better look before I put it in its enclosure. And just make sure it's okay. Hi, are you okay? Hi, ah! Can I pick you up? Oh, <laughs> oh, he's like, squishing air out okay okay i don't want to like totally stress you out can i pick you up oh you don't like that okay okay that's okay check him out so this is the smooth sided toad and they actually get much larger than this this is way bigger than i thought but look at it oh my god he squirts out air he doesn't like it He's letting me hold him just for a minute. I'm gonna put him back down though. And I'm just gonna leave him alone. And I'm actually gonna let him like relax in this enclosure. I'm gonna keep him in this enclosure probably a couple days. I'm gonna make sure he's eating. I'm gonna make sure he's pooping. But yeah, oh, we found a nice little hiding spot. Two days later. So it's been about two days since I got my smooth sided toad and I have just kept him in this enclosure. Like I said, I know it's a little small, but I figured I'd just let him decompress after the shipping. My husband cut in some ventilation up here. And generally, even though this enclosure didn't work for him, it's still a nice enclosure and I'm sure I'll find a use for it. But he has eaten. He actually ate a ton of superworms. I was really surprised. And I've actually seen him come out and soak in his water dish. So I think that we're settling in nicely and we're ready to go into a larger enclosure. Apparently these toads can grow pretty quickly. So it is definitely possible that he actually was like two inches, maybe a little bit more when I ordered him and then like because of the bad weather and the delays and everything. By the time you got to me, he's grown a lot, which is fine. It's just, I was a little 
unprepared and it was unexpected. So we did have somebody save the day in this video. <laughs> Tarantula Cribs actually reached out. Um, we were just talking about something else and he mentioned he had a prototype of a new larger enclosure. It's still in the works, but he did offer me the prototype if I wanted to use it for my toad. So if you didn't know, Tarantula Cribs is actually a local company here. They make more high-end tarantula enclosures and I personally like use a ton of them. I have an affiliate code if you want to shop there. Cat 10 gets you 10% off and it helps my channel out as well. These are their largest size currently, which is um, a really nice size for a tarantula, but this might not be large enough for some species of tarantulas, namely my Nandu trapepi was kind of huge in this. So as great as these are, sometimes a tarantula gets a little bit larger. So he's working on a prototype to, to make a bigger enclosure. <laughs> now this, <laughs> This is the prototype. So this is a really nice giant acrylic enclosure. It's still got the sliding top, the magnets, the ventilation at the top, and ventilation on the sides. And if you want to compare it to the current largest size, look at this. Yeah, that's quite a difference. <laughs> now I will say this is not going to be my toad's permanent enclosure because although it is giant and I can't think of a tarantula that wouldn't fit in this as an adult, I will say that the smooth sided toad is supposed to have 24 by 18 by 18 or something. This is 12 by 12 by 20. It's like just like slightly off a few inches and since it's not an adult yet it's fine but as an adult we will be upgrading it to a giant bin enclosure not sure if I'll make a video about that we'll have to see but in the meantime for this video let's put it in here and uh, I want to set this bad boy up because this is like this is pretty cool like so let's set this up see what it looks like and I'm gonna give you a little bit more information about my toad afterwards so I am going to reuse this substrate because I just put the substrate in. I know you hate this. I'm so sorry. Hi. We do seem much calmer today. I do have to say that. Hello. I don't know what I did with the lid of this, so you have to promise not to jump out. Can we please just make that promise? And I will give you extra worms tonight. I'm setting you down right here so everybody's watching. Everybody was watching. If you try to run away, we all know. Yeah, I added this little bowl in here for super worms. So you guys know I have Hypnotoad and I have Magic Frog and now we have Trippy Toad. This is a really cool species of toad from South America. They are related to the Colorado River Toad and also the Cane Toad, which both also have the same bufotoxin as this one. Now bufotoxin is toxic in excessive amounts, especially for dogs when they find Cane Toads or Colorado River Toads in their backyard and put it in their mouth. So you want to make sure your dogs never get a hold of one of these because they can get very sick and even die from the toxin. I read that even some humans have by like eating their eggs and stuff. So don't eat it, very poisonous. Now they're not very quick to put out the bufotoxin. If you see right up here, these two glands is where the toxin will come out. And it only comes out if they're like super duper stressed or agitated, such as if a dog is like carrying them around in their mouth. Do you see your new home? Look at this. It looks so cool. I'm not really sure about the ventilation. I know that Mo was talking about how he thinks they're gonna do more ventilation on these enclosures. I would agree with that. I think for a tarantula, it's definitely okay. I'm not really sure about this guy. I don't want it to get too humid. I still want enough air to be coming in and out. So I'm just gonna have to watch it and see what's going on. Oh, wait, we're not done talking about you. Also, one more fun fact about this guy before we put him in the enclosure, but you might actually recognize them from Harry Potter. This was the kind of toad that they used in the filming of that movie. And I'm not a huge Harry Potter fan. I mean, it's good, but I was just never that into it. Although recently I have gotten really into Twilight. Please don't make fun of me. All right, so let's get this little one in the enclosure.
okay so thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed like this video if you did subscribe if you're not and you want to be don't forget i have an instagram that i use probably way too much it's at tarantula.cat you can go follow me there i also have a patreon podcast and a teespring it is all linked down below let's get into the patreon pet fix <laughs>